Hello teachers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you something very fun in Google Classroom. It's how to create your own custom header. As you can see here, I have my own bitmojis in the background and it just looks a lot nicer than the standard ones that they give you. And you can update every marking period, you could update monthly, whatever you want to do is right there for you. You could even create it as announcements. If there's something big that you want them to know, you can put just text right there. So what you want to do to create it is head on over to Google Slides and immediately go to File, and then down towards the bottom, you're going to hit Page Setup. Now, mine's already set up, but what yours will look like is you'll have default dimensions. It might be standard 4x3. What you want to do is hit the drop down and make sure custom is selected. And then you want to put in these exact dimensions under the inches, which is also a drop down. You can choose between different options here. You could do inches and you could just follow what I have here. The width is 16.66 and it's by the height, which is 4.16. And then it'll set up your page to look like this, just a big long rectangle. Now, please note that the placement is going to be important of your images because not all of them are going to be shown as much as you'd want them to. As you can see here, all my images here, I have the wash your hands, the pointer finger, the text, the miss you, and the sanitize. If I go back into my header, as you can see, the one that was all the way over to the left is kind of blocked by some text right by the class code and the meet link and the title of the class you're not going to be able to get rid of that so if you want something to really be seen it's going to be right in the middle as you see here it's right in this middle portion now if I go back into my header as you can see you'll also notice that it's much darker right there's the compare and contrast here's the lighter version and the darker unfortunately Google Classroom just does that automatically I'm not a hundred percent sure why but it happens so you probably want to avoid dark colors to begin with because it's going to appear even darker now also note depending on what color you make your background the theme of your entire page like these icons on the classwork page see how mine are green and all the buttons here are green it's going to look a little bit different depending on what you put on for your header. So if I chose a different background image than blue here, the entire theme is going to be different. So you're just going to have to play around with it and see what you like best. And I'll actually show you what that looks like as well. So if I head back over into my creation here, I'm going to change the background image. And I'm going to do that by hitting background right there and I'm gonna change it and I'll make it a darker blue and I'll hit done so it still looks good on this page in fact some of the images pop a little bit more now in order to transfer that over to Google Classroom I'm gonna to go to file download JPEG and it's gonna download it to your computer then I want to go over to my Google Classroom page and right where it says upload photo on the bottom right hand corner of the header I'm going to click down on that and I'm going to drag or you could select it from your computer. I'm going to drag it over and it's going to upload and then there'll be a spot that says you want to kind of crop the image. For some reason they make it smaller already. You just need to go ahead and play with it and include all of the image of what you want. And once you're done cropping the entire thing, you're just going to hit select class theme. And as you see, the theme was updated and it is a bit darker. It still doesn't look bad. So play around with whatever you want. And then if I go to the classwork, notice now my icons went from green to these gray, darker colors. That's precisely why I chose the lighter color to begin with, because I didn't like how dull this looked on this page. So I'll show you if I choose a lighter image what will happen. So I'm here on Google Slides. I'm going to go to background and this time I will choose yellow, a very bright color. I'm going to hit file, download as a JPEG. It's going to download it to my computer here. I'm going to go back to Google Classroom, upload photo. I'm just going to drag it over. I could also just select it from a file and I'm going to crop the image again. And it updated it here. Now, I don't particularly like the mustardy color of this because it does make it darker, right? It's much darker. But now let's look at how the icons change. I'm going to hit classwork. And now these are blue. So I actually prefer that. I like when the icons kind of pop out and it doesn't look like a dystopian 
fictional setting of a Google Classroom page. So that is how you can create your own custom banner. If you're interested in adding the Bitmojis, all you need to do is go to the Chrome store and you need to download the Bitmoji add-on, which as you can see is right up at the top here, and you could have your own Bitmojis. So if this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified of any future Google Classroom videos.